Our Southgate has handed Crystal Palace midfielder Conor Gallagher a first senior England call-up ahead of tomorrow's World Cup qualifier against San Marino. The Chelsea Loney makes the step up from the under-21s following the withdrawal of Jordan Henderson, Jack Grealish and Mason Mount. Well, we heard from Carve Solik uh, from Gareth Southgate rather in the last hour. Our reporter at Carve Solik was the man asking the questions. Good afternoon to you. Um, so Conor Gallagher into the squad. Would you say that this is a call-up that's been maybe coming? Yes, definitely. Look, I mean, it is a surprise in the sense that he's a player who has been at Chelsea since he was eight years old, but he hasn't played for Chelsea yet. But he has really impressed on loan at Crystal Palace, and he's also impressed when he's been playing for the England under-21s. And obviously, Gareth Southgate has had some injury issues. Players have had to pull out of the squad. And he has basically said, look, I could have brought in more experienced players into the squad. I think he meant players like... Jesse Lingard, for instance, or Jaden Sancho. But why not take this opportunity to look at younger players, see whether they can step up to play for England. So I think it makes perfect sense uh, for him to be in the England squad, especially for this game against San Marino, because there's not a lot riding on the game. And I think Gareth Southgate kind of gave the game away 10 days ago when he named its initial England squad. There was quite a few other players who weren't in the squad that he named. He named Conor Gallagher, he named Emile Smith-Rowe, and he said there were players that they were watching very, very closely. And it's not that surprising that both of them have been called up to the senior squad. Now, uh, I was speaking to Gareth Southgate, what, about 50 minutes ago, and the first question, obviously, that we asked him was about Conor Gallagher. Been very impressed with him. Um, we've tracked Conor for quite a long time. Um, his loan spells at Charlton, at Swansea, um, which obviously we knew the staff there very well um, at West Brom and now at Crystal Palace. So in e at each loan, he's done extremely well, started the season very well with Palace. And we talked about him when we named the original squad as somebody that we were keen to uh, keep an eye on. And I suppose it's one of the benefits of being with the under 21s because it was an easy transition for us to bring him across. Um, already uh, Covid tested and going from one bubble to the other was, was straightforward. That's not to say um, he was, he's only here because of that, he, he's here because he deserves to be here. But um, it was an easy transition for us to make. It was funny because a moment or so ago you said oh, there's not much riding on the game. England do still need a point to qualify, but let's face it, they're going to get it against San Marino, one of the worst teams in the world. So how does Gareth Southgate approach it? It's funny because his body language and the way he was talking at the press conference today, you would think that England were playing against Brazil or, or <laughs> Germany tomorrow night. I suppose that's how he's got to approach it, isn't and it? They don't even need a point. Even if they lose, unless there is a seven-goal swing in favour of Poland, then England are going to the World Cup in Qatar. And we're talking about San Marino. They are the worst side in the world. They're ranked 210 by FIFA. That is the bottom of ranking. They've never won a competitive game. I think they've lost something like 35 qualifiers in a row. They've only ever drawn one qualifier, I think. That was back in 1993 against Turkey. So, look, England are in the World Cup. And... Yes, you have to admire the way Gareth Southgate is approaching this game. Uh, I asked him whether he was tempted to make wholesale changes for the game. But I think, judging by what he was saying, he keeps talking about the fact that there's going to be a lot of England supporters travelling out to this game, I think a few thousand. And he says that, look, we still have to put out a strong side. So I've just got a funny feeling. Is Harry Kane going to play in this game? Because I know... Speaking to Harry Kane after the game on Friday night, he is desperate to play against San Marino. He needs another 10 goals to beat Wayne Rooney's 53 record goals for England. And I think he's a bit annoyed that he hasn't been playing in these games against Andorra and San Marino. For instance, he hasn't started any of the qualifiers against Andorra or San Marino so far this year. So I think he's looking at this opportunity tomorrow night against San Marino as a chance to score a few more goals. And interestingly, if you look at Wayne Rooney's 53 goals for England, five of those were against San Marino, whereas Harry Kane has only scored once against San Marino. So I think he wants to have another go against uh, San Marino tomorrow night. And judging by what Gareth Southgate had to say today, I think Harry Kane may well feature in the game, although I don't think he'll play for the full 90 minutes. Well, he's quick to let me know that he hasn't played in those games. Um, 
And of course, there's a balance for us because one of the strengths over the last few years is that we've had a really strong squad mentality and we've wanted to make sure that people that are with us get the opportunities to play. The, the guys that have perhaps been starting in some of the bigger matches uh, during the summer in particular recognise that they also have a role to support everybody else when the time's right. You know, when you have a squad, it's so important that those that aren't starting support the, the team that are. So I think that's a good process for everybody in the squad to experience. Um, but equally, we, we want to make sure that the team we start with tomorrow, there's a statement that we're here to do to do business, that we're taking this very seriously. We're not qualified yet. We want a strong performance. We've got thousands of England fans travelling and um, we we must put on a, a performance that um, uh, underlines all of the facts I've just spoken about, really. So Gareth Southgate there taking the game very, very seriously. But look, I think it would be the biggest shock in the history of sport. If, You're going that far, no, eh? I'm going that Not just far. football, sport. I'm going that far if England don't qualify for the World Cup. As I said, even if they lose, Poland need a seven-goal swing in their favour to stop England qualifying automatically for the World Cup in Qatar. All right. If they don't get through, you'll be back in that seat. I can assure you of that, Carve. Thank you very much for the moment.